all this stuff? I just don't know where to begin. That's the problem. What am I going to do with all this stuff? Can't you clear a path through it somehow? That's the best idea I've heard all day. Now I'm ready to begin. of a writer am I? Have you stopped to ask yourself that question recently? Most of us carry on our lives with an anxiety somewhere in the back of our minds that we're going to have to communicate with other people by writing. We may feel a little confused or inadequate for a variety of reasons. This series is about writing and is going to help you answer that question, what kind of a writer am I? Reiner? Thank you, Jeanine. Writing is a necessary skill in every part of society, and although most of our daily communication is verbal, the modern world depends on writing. It could be a letter to your mother, a business report, a full-length novel, or a sports forecast. The formats and purposes are virtually endless. But one thing is clear. To reach your professional and personal goals in life, you will have to be able to write. To help you meet the demands of work or college, we're going to look at the ways we human beings communicate with each other. These patterns are fundamental, and we'll see that you already have all of the tools necessary to make you a better writer. Marilyn. You already know how to write. You wouldn't be watching this series if you didn't. But most of us are rusty or have mental blocks about writing. In this series, we're going to show you that you have all the imagination and skills necessary to make you a good writer. What you may not have is a realistic picture of your strengths and weaknesses. In order for you to become a better writer, you have to be self-critical. You have to know what potential you have inside you, and you may surprise yourself and find that you have talents and skills that you didn't know you had. In this program, we're going to get you thinking about your writing. Getting started means a little self-analysis. Marilyn, haven't we all been evaluated and marked enough in our school years? Shouldn't we know whether we're an A or a C student? Well, that's certainly a good place to begin. Certainly, we've all had papers handed back to us, but we have to look at the total picture. We've got to realize that there are more assignments, writing assignments, than just college papers. Why don't we uh, take a look at that larger picture right now? Communication. Every day we encounter situations where information is coming at us where we have to pass on information to others. We live in the greatest flood of ideas in history, and the types of media have never been so numerous or varied. Researchers have found that the average home has a television on for at least eight hours a day. We're entertained and educated by a constant stream of images and ideas. Radio, newspapers, and magazines are everywhere.